And we're back with another episode of Tell uh... You Where What the Fuck Is That? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is what? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I come in peace. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. These are Oakleys, bro. Yeah, they're Oakley Doakleys. <laughs> they're Oakley Doakleys. <laughs> <laughs> these are actually from Oakley. Like, these are Oakley glasses. So, if you guys are watching us, you guys know what I'm wearing on my face right now. If you're not watching us and you're listening to this episode, you might have to go over to YouTube to watch this episode. Um, I am wearing the the Oakley. Uh, they're the Oakley sport glasses. They came out, ooh, 2004 2006 i forget it's like one of the olympics or the winter olympics and a lot of people were wearing the over the head glasses i've never seen that shit in my life looks like you're wearing it not the way it's supposed to be worn these these are oakley sunglasses that's fucking weird there's there's the logo right there just in case you think i'm these aren't fakes these aren't you, you wear that in public yeah you wear these in public where else no, would you, do wear, you wear that in public i have before you I've had people look at me like, next time. what the hell's going on here? If you have, if, if I want to hide my identity and I don't want pe- people to know who the hell I am, <laughs> do you know who I am? Dot com. <laughs> so anyway, there you go. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys are subscribed to listen to our BS. Uh, we have a lot of crap. I, I can't even take myself serious wearing the glasses right now. <laughs> so um, look, see the little bag. There's a the Oakley emblem. Um, yeah, make sure you guys do follow us. Uh, check the description below. We have a very good uh, VPN in there. Um, protect yourself before you wreck yourself, as we always say. Um, make sure you guys get your guys self-protected. And there's a discount code in there, so get yourself hooked up. What do you got? Buzz TV. Buzz TV Global.com. Make sure you check out Buzz TV Global.com for the back-to-school discounts, bundles, and all kinds of good stuff that's going on right now. Um, there's all kinds of devices that are on sale right now and some additional accessories that are being bundled for free for you. So go check them out. So, um, today's episode is a beyond the BS. (laughs) It's like a grind my gears episode beyond the BS device comparison, best streaming device debate. Um, Next level and I'd love to go back and forth with this shit on what's good, what's bad, what's not worth it, what's a pain in the butt. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna like like we've been we both been getting we've been getting a lot of emails and a lot of comments. <laughs> we've been getting a lot of notifications. I actually been getting several comments on my stuff saying this is better, that's better. Why you know, have you checked this out? Have you tried this out? I'm just like, what the what? <laughs> what are you talking about? So let's get this one out of the way. And I did I did several videos on this. I did several videos on this one. The Roku. The Roku. So if I go to my Rojas streaming tech channel um i rebranded this channel some of you guys know it as streaming box now but i did rebrand it as roja streaming tech i'm actually thinking about rebranding it next year i'm I'm just starting to brainstorm already i know i know calm down um so uh, let me do this i'm gonna go to video i'm gonna go to some of my most popular videos and of course you know we got videos like dump your fire stick this is better talked about buzz tv um actually is this my most yeah so my buzz tv one is my most watched my most views i got a formula second most views a cube a cube a shield i got all kinds of stuff um just recently i decided to do Roku. And it's funny because I called it Roku Tutorials. <laughs> <laughs> hint hint for anybody who knows what I'm talking about. I think I I think you might know what I'm talking about. Oh, yes, I know. Um yes. So 
Let me see this real quick. Roku. Um, Roku videos have been doing me actually pretty well. Well, they are very popular devices. They have a good operating system. Yes, yes. Pretty good. And and just to name some of the videos that I've done, um, some hidden settings within Roku that need to be changed, how to unlock developer options on the Roku, the top 10 Roku apps that you should have that's on the device, um, device comparisons, Fire Stick Max or the Roku Plus. Um, how to get the Roku channel. And I, well, I, I did another one. I bought a Roku and I actually liked it. <laughs> how to clear cash on the Roku. Um, how to get the Roku on a, uh, the Roku channel on the Fire Stick. Um, how to set it up a stream locator on the Roku. Um, going through the remotes, factory resetting. Some of the best in streaming devices, like and I got one, two, three, four, five. I got five more videos after that too on just Roku stuff. So I've done several videos on Roku. Um, the one thing I hate about the Roku, the one thing I absolutely cannot stand about the Roku, is I did a video. And, and this thing is getting tens of thousands of views and it's not slowing down. It's, it's, it, I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the year, this thing hits a hundred thousand, um, or maybe by the next summer it hits a hundred thousand views. Cause I'm, cause that video is like still climbing. Just, it's just chipping away. Cause people are looking, how do I put third party apps on this thing? You know, I, I want to put something else. I want to put, I don't know, angry birds on it. <laughs> um, the video on how to unlock developer options. It's 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 a big topic, big conversation. And, and I want to say most people who are cord cutters, streaming enthusiasts, I don't know, what, what would you call them? Nothing? <laughs> I mean, Next level just froze. I don't know. It's you can call yourself whatever you want to call yourself. I guess I would think maybe just a streaming enthusiast. Okay, streaming enthusiast. Let's um, go with that. Let's go with that. Um, a lot of us want to put whatever the hell we want, and you know what? It doesn't have to be BTV or Terrarium or yeah. I'm, I'm naming some old stuff. Cinema HD. Um, it doesn't have to be like those type of apps. It could be a bunch of other types of apps that are not movies and tv shows you know what i mean i've known people that says hey i want to put how do i put a a a one one app that does everything clears cash force closes everything how could i get one app that does all of that at once so i don't have to mess with it and it's a legit app um that one video i just show how to get to unlocking the developer options and then after that you do whatever the hell you want to do i'm not going to say hey now that you've unlocked it this is how what you can do this is how you can get this this is how you can get that i'm just not going to do it um obviously youtube don't like it for obvious reasons and 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 sometimes i get hate comments saying like you're an asshole you showed us how to get there but we don't know what to do after that i'm like you got to figure it out for after whatever you're trying to do bro that's on you you know, and and that's the one thing I hate about the Roku getting to that point. And and and, you know, oh, you know, what's the other thing, too, that I've noticed that video on how to unlock developer options was on a streaming stick and people were complaining about it, that they couldn't do it on their TVs. I'm like, hold on a second. What? This video was on 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 a, on an, on a, a detachable you have to plug it into your TV streaming device. Whatever's on your TV is probably going to be a little bit similar, but if it doesn't match what it is, then you're going to have to do some digging. That's all it is. Do a little bit more digging. I don't have that video. What were you going to say? You got, yeah, things change all the time, right? Well, you know, one thing, people are never going to check the date on which the video was released as well. So, I mean, it is what it is. This well, this one's only a couple months old. It's not that it's old video, but 
I think people just aren't paying attention. They're not like reading the title or, or, or saying like, oh yeah, look here, here's this stick that I'm going to be doing it on. They're just like, dude, it doesn't work on my car. Fuck. <laughs> what? Hmm. But I will say this though. Yeah. The Roku. I love the interface. The Roku's interface, I think, is amazing. You open it up. It's super fast. It pops up. There it is. Boom. Done. That's it. Who would you say the Roku is a good device for? Uh, to be honest, I haven't really used the Roku enough to really say, but I believe that there's more free content available on the Rokus than some of the other Android devices. Yes, I'm talking about legal free content. I'm not mm-hmm. talking about side loading and all that other stuff. I could be wrong. Like I said, I haven't used the Roku enough to really say. Yeah. Now, the reason why... Actually, I'll ask you the reason why. No. That way you can start paying more attention. <laughs> we could see your, your your computer screen, by the way. How can you? Oh. Hello. <laughs> your glasses there. Yeah. <laughs> um, why did the Fire Stick become so popular? So fast. Cheap. A smart assistant ecosystem echoes water echoes what (laughs) (laughs) so back in 2014 when they first came out that's that's that that, that, that's what your answer is well there wasn't much competition out there and smart tvs weren't a mainstream thing yet so how do you turn your tv into a smart tv Mm -hmm. well you just pay a couple dollars and you get a ferrari stick pretty much yeah and what made them blow up was the whole jail of the break-in or the breaking of the jails. <laughs> Everybody started going like stupid about it. It was just. It was unbelievable what people were doing on the fire sticks and how much they were selling them and how much people were getting away with it. It was nuts. Um. But other devices started to come out back then, you know? Um, dude, back then, remember the Minix? Mm-hmm. Dude, I, that was one of the first Android boxes that I seen, and I was so mad. Why? Because they were like $200, and yeah. they were slow, and they were clunky, and they, they pissed me off. So because <laughs> of that, I was like, I don't want anything to do with these stupid Android boxes. Mm-hmm. Like, why were they so expensive? They weren't even official Android. They weren't even crazy specs. I didn't understand why they were so expensive, but people loved them for whatever reason. The newer ones, I don't know, maybe they're better. But back in the day, there wasn't like there wasn't all these T ninety fives and 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 B links well, and the Shield wasn't even out yet when when the Minixes were out, right? And it was the only thing that that they were saying Android with it. You know what I mean? And, you know, and the Shield, when the Shield came out, they're like, oh, look, this is official Android now. You could still do everything that a Fire Stick does, everything that a Minix does, everything that the Roku does, except you could now do things with a hell of a lot more storage. It's pretty much like pretty much pretty much what they did was they said, cool, Roku, you guys were the first number one. Let's take let's take the the simplicity. Where people could, you know, like their interface and and getting all these cool apps fire stick. Great. Let's get this fire stick where you could sideload stuff. The Roku wasn't really doing much back then. They have the dark store, but it was still a pain in the butt. So they so the shield said, cool, let's go ahead and put that feature in. 
And then they looked at Minix and said, hey, you guys got, what, 250 gigs of memory? Dude, let's do a 500 gigs. Let's grab that. And let's, like, all three of those devices made a baby, and here comes a shield. <laughs> Dude, that first shield was a beast, man. That's why everybody keeps talking about it, saying, like, the shield is king for such a long time. But that throne has changed hands Whoa. a couple years ago. Whoa. And, and and there's multiple devices that are doing better things than the shield. The only difference now really <laughs> is what Netflix and 4k. Like if, if you want Netflix and 4k with everything else, shield is, 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 is your jam. That's what you want. If you don't care for Netflix, you really see that difference though. Like if you're watching Netflix on the on the the cube versus the shield, do you really see a difference? Well, cube versus shield, no. But I, but they're both 4K. If we're talking about the standard definition app versus the 4K app, you could see a difference. It's not. Well, no, you could see a difference. But cube, the cube versus the shield, and that's the that's the, now, okay. Now you're opening up a whole can of worms. Do you really need to spend two hundred dollars on a shield when you could do the same thing? If you're a person who just has Netflix, you know all the all the legit stuff, dude. You can well, go most with the, the fire TVs stick come with Netflix on it now, huh? Most of the TVs come with Netflix baked on it now too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So. So why even get some of these streaming devices nowadays? You know what I mean? It's still for it's still for the third party stuff. People are still wanting the third party stuff. Um I still want to say Amazon's best streaming device that they're still trying to catch up on was the Amazon Fire TV box. That small little box. It looked like a square. I think they've caught up. Not not the second gen? I don't think so. The second gen like is smooth, but that box is smoother. But it still can't update to the latest operating system. Some things are having difficulty running and installing on it now, isn't it? On the box, well, the box, the box is now obsolete. You can't, right. you can't do nothing with the box. But I'm, but when, 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 when it was out, you know, they they said, oh, let's come up with the dongle, worst idea, ever, and then they stopped that right away, and then they're like, oh, let's do the cube first gen, horrible. They had to fix it, and they then they pushed that second gen out so fast because that first gen wasn't that good. Second gen, great, but not as good as that box. I don't know why they went backwards. That dude, that actually, I think I have it here somewhere. This thing was the best thing that Amazon has come up with. And the Fire Cube, second gen, it's close, but they're missing a lot of stuff. Look at this. They're missing a lot of stuff. The Cube does not have any of this. It doesn't have a TF card slot. Doesn't have that Ethernet port built in. This thing, th this th this TF card slot right here is the game changer. That is the game changer right there. I'm, does I don't think the Fire Cube has a USB slot. It has a uh, a mini one. But yeah, USB C. But but that's what I'm saying. This right here, game changer. They need some kind of USB standard USB to plug in one of these things built in. And I know people say like, well, you could go and, and get the USB-C and get the splitter and then you could split all that stuff. Yeah, that's fine and dandy. This thing is still the best device because everything was built in 
and you didn't have to split anything. It was built in. And I know people are going to say like, well, what about, what about the, what about when you split it? The way I see it with splitting, like, okay, watch, I'm going to piss off next level right now for anybody's listening. Wow. Um, <clears throat> if next level goes and buys, I don't know, 20 chicken wings. That's his meal for, 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 for right now, 20 chicken wings. He's going to eat 20 chicken wings in one city. Um, I show up and say, Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to take some of your chicken wings. Why? Look right away. See what he said? Why? <laughs> he got all mad. Why what are you going to get your own damn chicken wings? What, what if me, let's just say juggernaut, uh, digital slang all showed up. All three of us showed up all of a sudden and say, Oh, you got chicken wings. And, and we all grab a piece of your, of your chicken no. wings. You guys just showed up. You could wait half an hour. More wings will come. Exactly what I'm saying. That's what happens when you split shit up. They get angry. (laughs) They get angry. (laughs) When you split the power of stuff, when you split information, when you split things up with some of these wires in there, you lose some stuff. You lose quality. You lose power. You lose something. Things start heating up. Um Everything that happened in the next level is exactly what happens to these devices when you split shit up. It gets hot, it gets hot, it gets mad, and then it gets hungrier again. <laughs> That's why when things are built in and they're dedicated to certain things, you get the max of whatever, max capacity, max power, ma- you, you get peak performances. That's why the shield is is still a lot of people saying it's still one of the best devices out there because you can just plug it in. You don't have to split anything up. Can you do it on a fire stick? Sure you can. Should you? Probably not. You should probably use it for what it was meant for. But people like to take it. And I know next level is going to get all giddy when I say this. People like to take their devices to the next level. Fire cube. <laughs> Gen 2 eh, is good. I still love this thing. Go ahead. Well, yeah, like that's the thing. I, like, like I told you before we even started recording this thing, I'm too political for this kind of conversation because people are going to do whatever the F people want to do, right? Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, me personally, if I buy a Fire Stick, I'm not buying that device to add a bunch of stuff to it and put a dongle this and dongle that. Like the most I'll do is I'll add in the uh, the additional um, USB adapter so that it can power off a USB port. That's the most that I'll do, right? If I wanted to do everything else, then I'll get another device because by the time you start adding a bunch of shit to it, it's like it's going to be more expensive than getting a higher end device. And I get people mm-hmm. like to tinker, but I used to be like that. I just don't have the time no more. I don't have the time and I don't have the energy to be frustrated with anything when I can just buy something out of the box and use it exactly how I want to use it. You don't have the patience either. I don't have the patience right now. I'm done. Like I'm, I'm too busy. I got too much shit going on to sit there and try to put a toothpick and, 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 and through a fire stick and light it on fire. So I agree. I, I, I have time because I'm still tinkering and I obviously do the, the reviews on the channel. So I like to do stuff and screw around with some of the stuff. Um, I think there's always better options out there, you know, and I, and I know we start getting into some of these like premium devices. Um, you know, I, I, I have people emailing me about buzz TV. They're like, dude, I got that buzz TV you recommended. But where the hell do I get Netflix? And I'm just like, did you pay attention to any of my? I'm like, dude, I have a lot of videos on Bu- about Buzz TV, and I always mention it doesn't have 4K. And they're like, well, I need to get official Google. I'm like, no, official Google does not give you Netflix in 4K. They have to be Netflix certified. They have to get permission from Netflix. It's a whole different process, actually. Um, Buzz TV was on its way of doing that 4K Netflix and going through the whole certification and going through all of that stuff. 
Um, but there was just too many hoops of fire, and it just doesn't make sense. The only way some of these devices could get that is, you know, if if they if they go full Google and they get rid of all of their previous devices, no longer sell them, they throw that Netflix button on the remote, um, and then they can guarantee X amount of sales. It's very aggressive on what Netflix wants, like very aggressive. Um, and again, Buzz TV was on was on its way of doing it, but they just said, you know what? We're putting a lot of effort on this. Where exactly what Next Level just said, Netflix is already on all smart TVs nowadays. If you want Netflix so bad, it's already on your TV. This box is not for you then. You could go on your TV and log into your Netflix. You're done. You don't need this box. This box is for something else. Formula has some great devices also. The Z10 Pro Max X2 XL. <laughs> they have some good ones. Me Cool has got some great ones. Shield, well... Hopefully they'll come up with a new one. It's been a while since they've come up with stuff. I'm, I don't know. I know Next Level and me have debated about if the Shield will ever come up with anything else. I'm not holding my breath, bro. Me neither. B-Link kind of fell off the planet. What the hell happened to B-Link? I think we just stopped caring about some of these devices for some reason, you know? B-Links, they they got some good devices. They they actually do a lot of sales in the mini PC market. They do. They actually yeah, I actually I started reviewing those things several years ago. And I'm like this is crazy. Raw Media, one of my favorite freaking devices. I had that sucker for such a long time. Only thing is to get an APK, you got to run a freaking emulator and like blue stacks and i'm just like i'm not gonna go through all that whole route but when i when i did that whole pseudo get install k app and i had it all set up on that man there's nothing i don't care what anybody says that raw media device that was running linux there was no device that came close to the speed on that thing um, and for and for those of you guys who say, oh, no, 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 the shield was fat. No, the shield was not faster. There's nothing faster than Linux on this planet. <laughs> Linux is is there's no boot up time. There is just boom. You hit power. Boom. It's on. Like you, you could put the shield on standby. And Linux would still boot up faster than their standby. It, it just, it, it, it's just it's Linux. But. I started getting into APKs because of this guy over here, and I had to switch That's my devices true. around. You were into APKs before that. Don't don't blame me. Uh, it's all your fault. I wasn't APK time. Well, I mean, I am. I, I I am me. I like I liked APKs because that's what I started to learn to like dabble with code with. Yeah. Well, I mean, I coded a little bit before, but that's like I wasn't a Cody dev or anything like that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Well, some of the, the, the latest devices, and it's funny, they're not really new devices. I think people are just starting to pay more attention to them. Not because of the device, but because of one other thing. They're TV shows. I'll take a while to guess what I'm, what I'm talking about. What, what? TV shows and the device? They're related to... Oh, people weren't paying attention to this device until they started to produce TV shows. Good ones. See, and we've recommended sure. we've recommended this app for a while now. Apple. Apple. Right. Apple TV. Apple TV. Well, you don't need an Apple device for to run Apple TV. We've been talking about Apple TV as a service for a while and how mm -hmm. it, it's a good value. I think it's a good value. Apple TV streaming app is amazing. Um, we've been getting people asking us about like, hey, why don't you review 
Apple TV's um, streaming device. Do you know the 2021 Apple TV HD is uh, it's on its fifth generation now? Yeah, because they, they've been out for a while, but no one really talks about them. No, no one really talks about them. And it's and it's kind of like the same reason why people stop talking about Roku. Who was it? I swear we talked to somebody. It might even be. Oh, what the hell is his name? He shows up on our live streams once in a while. Hold on. Cyclone? Um, He's going to be pissed. (laughs) He's always pissed. He's like, why aren't you guys live yet? Sorry, Cyclone. I'll find his name. Search Flicks? No, not Search Flicks. Uh, 619? Howdy ho. XC Text. I swear XC Text used to do videos on Apple TV devices back in the day. Yep. And Apple has, you know, we've talked about ecosystems, man. We've talked about, like, on the Rojas, on the old Rojas Reviews channel, I was I was showing people how to turn your home smart. And on the new Rojas Tech channel, um, I'm still doing that, like how to turn your, you know, your smart home. Um, and I'm also reviewing other stuff along the way, other products. Um, but like, there's so many ecosystems going on right now on how to oh, do smart homes. You don't even know. Oh, I know. You don't even know. <laughs> don't even know. <clears throat> so, you know, you got the Fire Stick or your Alessa devices, your Juanita. You could talk to her and tell her all kinds of stuff about turn this on, turn that off, whatever. Um, you know, I have my entire house set up where if somebody sneezes in here, I'm like, wait, what? Who's that? <laughs> Um, actually, ooh, I had a company just sent me these. Herdio, you're not even lo- you're not even looking. Pay attention, pay attention to me. Damn it, Herdio. These are smart. Why do your eyeballs look like that? <laughs> you look like you just saw some chicken wings. You're like. <laughs> <laughs> These are Bluetooth speakers, smart Bluetooth speakers that you could set up. And I'm going to set these up outside in the backyard. So that way, if I'm mowing the lawn or, or planting or working in the yards, doing whatever, I can just tell it, hey, Alessa from outside, play whatever music on this. I have a bug zapper back there. Oh, yeah. I, bought a, I bought a smart... Um, Oh, what is it? Power. It, it's a it's a smart power surge protector, and you could program each one to do whatever you want. So I programmed one for a bug zapper. So I'll tell, hey Juanita, turn on the bug zapper, and then that thing will turn on. I'm like, sweet. Uh, another company sent me this for forty nine feet. <laughs> That's a lot, dude. Outdoor string lights. Same thing. Do they change colors? Amazon smart, dude. You like you can just tell it, do this, do this, do this, and it does it. Um, and that's I, th- I think I think that's the biggest thing that's gotten me with Amazon. I still have the shield. I can control my my shield with Amazon stuff. So I've 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 gotten to love that ecosystem, and. With Apple, we know iOS has their own ecosystem. And some people are very, very deep into that. I know, like, me and the search like, talk, talk all the time. He keeps telling me, like, dude, you should just get onto Apple. I'm like, no, dude. I like the flexibility of doing whatever the hell I want, even if it comes to my cell phone. If I want to program something or build an app or do whatever the hell I want, I could do it on the phone, have it there, and do whatever the hell I want. I like that freedom of doing whatever I want. <laughs> you know what I mean? But the, the, I still think that I would still enjoy 
an experience on Apple devices. I still think I could, right? Um, just because the only thing that I really do on my Android these days, which is very rare, that I can't do on Apple is coding an APK. Mm-hmm. But but it's very rare that I do that, right? So <laughs> I think that I could survive on an Apple ecosystem. I've never done it. Never had an iPhone. Never had anything like that. But I think I could survive because I could figure out how to get around what's blatantly burying like stopping me from doing what i want to do well if it can if it comes to like i don't know sinclair or whatever if, when it comes to like some of these like third party weed 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 <laughs> weed when it comes to weed when it comes to some of these third party apps um you know on my phone i was just like cool like i have some of these apps that i know for a fact i can't get on an apple phone and I know I've had some people say like, yeah, but do you really use those apps? Absolutely. I, I fly, I travel a lot. So when I'm with, when I'm with, if I'm somewhere else and I'm just like, Hey, I want to put my earbuds in. I want to listen to this or watch this. The only way around it is if you could go through websites, if you can find websites and, and watch it through that. But most people, they don't want, to go through a website and get all these pop-ups all over the place. There are there are applications on on Apple to to stream movies and stuff like that. We've seen them in the past. Yeah, there are, there are, but not the ones that you're looking for. They're going to be different. They are going to be different, but there still are. Right? It's the same way like Android. Like it wasn't all advert. Well, I guess it kind of was advertised in the past through YouTubers, right? It was easier to find that information. But when we first started doing our investigations and how to do what with these devices, we had to do research. And it's the same thing with Apple. You're just going to have to do research. It's going to be different information than what you got from your Android. And it is what it is. Yeah. So I know my biggest complaint with Apple with Apple products is that they have the lock and key. If I like a certain app, I, I chances are I can't get it unless it's in their Apple store. I can't get it. There's ways around it. There's ways to quote unquote breaking the jails, I guess, um, where you can get certain things and you can do certain situations with these devices. But chances are, like Apple closes a lot of that stuff pretty quick. When they find out that you can do certain things, they lock and key it pretty quick. Um, and it's funny how we were talking about this too. And I got this notification here, and I'm actually gonna I'm 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 looking at this thing right now. I'm looking at this thing right now, and I think I'm gonna do it. So as you guys know, I, I, I try to stay away from certain devices and there's always like better stuff out there. And I'm like, there's always better ways of doing it. So I have this thing right here. <clears throat> I'm going to get it. I'm going to ask the next level if I should do it or not, but I'm going to get it. Apple TV 4k. Get it. <laughs> get it. Um, I've been looking around to see if I could find like tutorials, like like how to set it up, like how do you unlock this, how do you unlock that, and I haven't found anybody that's really doing it. I think there's like a couple shows that that go on for I don't know an hour, and people are are talking about it. Like I, I've I've seen different different content creators doing it, but most people they're just like, dude, give me like a five minute video on how the hell to set this thing up. Like, let me like show me step by step on how to do it. Just a few minutes. Like, that's that's all the time I got. I don't have I don't have all day. Um, So I'm going to do it. I did it with Roku. I had several people tell me, like, dude, get the freaking Roku. And and we had Shrink and Sharon come out on the podcast last year. And big shout out to Shrink and Sharon. Um, And I finally did the review and I actually ended up liking it. I was talking all this smack about it and I ended up liking it. So I'm going to do the same thing with Apple. Obviously, you know, we review this shit anyway, so we should do it. My question to you is, there's a sale going on. 
And chances are, because, you know, we do get the stuff discount, I might keep it and resell it at a cheaper price, or I might just return it. Like I did the Fire Stick Max the first time. <laughs> do you think I should get the 32 gigs or the 64 gigs? And so, there's a big so, price difference. Here's the thing. Um just tell me which one to buy. I think you should go with the 64 gig because I think that the Apple App Store is abundant. And it'll give you the room to download as many apps as you want and really test it out and not have to worry about running up the space or anything like that. Now, it is quite expensive, but I mean, if you want to be uninstalling stuff and installing new ones, then you can go with the 32, right? Like 32 is still lots of space for applications. I'm just saying... I think you should really give the app store a review compared to what you're used to in the Google play store. That's a good. Okay. I'm doing it. Okay. Add to cart. Apple care. What? Apple care plus for Apple. Apple. This doesn't come with Dolby Atmos. I don't know. It says Dolby Atmos for immersive room filling sound. A2 Bionic chip gives a big boost to audio. 4K high frame rate HDR with Dolby Vision. Are th are these the features? Like, what is this? I I'm guessing Apple Care Plus is if something happens to it, yes. we fixed it. I don't know why it's trying to tell me. Like, it's trying to sell me on, like, oh, if you want the bonus stuff. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to get this. So there's, I have a video coming out, I think, this week, talking about somebody is going after uh, Amazon's smart home th throne from the TV retrospect. Can you guess which company is coming after Amazon's smart home integration and smart home assistant thrown through a TV device? Real quick, before I answer that, I bought it. Congratulations. It's an Apple. So video coming soon, and I'm going to I'm going to do those reviews for you guys because you guys are. You guys want them. Um, person coming from after Amazon, the only one I can think of that is pretty big and I actually like them a lot is Samsung mm -hmm. smart, smart, smart things. I think it's smart mm -hmm. things. It's not Samsung. Mm -hmm. Notice how I'm looking at my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's so see, smart is it? No, it can't be smart life. Smart things. It's it's a big company. It's already out. They already have TV devices, but they're Sony. No, no, it's not Sony. You said they have TV devices. Why are you yelling at me? Yeah, I'm yelling at you. You want the Heather? answer? Heather? Don't say Toshiba. Don't tell no. me Toshiba. On freaking no. Walmart? No. Who? Google. So Google has just recently done an update where it optimizes both your... So Google TV is getting updates now and they're adding new features to Google TV. And I'm really excited for it. Like I'm super excited. I'm so excited, Rojas. This is how excited I am. I'm so excited to what's happening with Google, Google TV and Google smart home innovation that I'm thinking about buying a Pixel phone, a Pixel watch and a Chromecast. Okay, so I have mixed feelings on this. <laughs> you don't even know what the features are yet. And I have mixed feelings on it. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell me tell me what the things are because I ha I have one big thing I do want to say on this that that turns me off completely. 
So they just recently did updates to Google TV where it's going to optimize your hard drive and uh, consistently clean it in the background, right? The second thing, it's going to optimize your RAM so that you're always running optimally, right? So those two things are happening. Next is Nest integration with Google Chromecast TV. So they're finally integrating into Nest. So now you can use Nest like you you were using your Echoes, right? Follow me so far? Mm-hmm. Now, what some people don't know, because I didn't know this, but in 2020, what company did Google buy? What company did Google buy? In 2020, during a pandemic, Google bought Fitbit. And they're bringing Fitbit integration into their Chromecast and into their Pixel devices. Because, like, so Preppy has a Samsung watch and a Fitbit watch or a Fitbit, Fitbit, whatever the hell you want to call it. And the only reason she does not use her Samsung watch is because all of her friends are using Fitbit and you can't get the Fitbit app on the Samsung watch. And now they're starting to say, we bought them, Google bought them. There's going to be integration with Fitbit on the Google devices, not Samsung yet, Pixels and Chromecasts and that kind of stuff. And I think this is going to be a good thing. Are you bugged out? So... What? Why are you laughing at me? You can't take me You're serious? Phasing off with your freaking bug eyes. <laughs> so Google TV is a discontinued smart TV. I'm not talking about the TV. I'm talking about the, the, the operating system. Yeah, I know. But I'm talking about the, the like the TV. And This was the Google TV was actually co-developed. I'm just looking at some of this stuff by Intel, Sony, and Logitech. Three juggernauts when it comes to freaking hardware and software. I know I'll take these off. You can't take me serious. <laughs> okay. I am very and I know Google TV has has they're in like TCL and they have some other things that they're integrated with other companies in their TV's ecosystem. The thing that that kind of turns me off on it is if they're going for your smart home. There's too much competition right now. Oh, no, there's not enough. I think so. I think there's not enough. They're there. And again, I'm going to open up my apps because that's what I got. Um, I'm saying there's not enough people doing what Amazon is doing. The two big ones is Amazon and Samsung. So what you say a B word all day long? Is that what you're doing? B word? B I X B Y. No. So what do you say? Alessa. Right. That's what I'm saying. Who's dominating the market? Alessa. Because you just say her name, say her name all day long. We need more nobody names likes, to say. Nobody likes Bigsby though. <laughs> that, but that's what I, there's not enough competition. I think that it's good if we start to see Nest devices over Echo devices and then we have competition. If we say, hey, Oogles or hey, Alessi or whatever the hell her name is. What is there? There's there's a third assist name. I forget what the third one is. Siri. Siri. That's the other one. Right. Only Siri people are only apples. (laughs) Are you serious? (laughs) Those are the apples. Bigsby. People just don't like. Dude, I have Bigsby on my on my phone. I got Bigsby on the shield. I got Bigsby on the TV. I have I have Bigsby, but I I. I don't use it. And I have a lot of smart home stuff. Everything that I have, 
dude, absolutely everything that I have has an option for either Alessa, Bisbee, or Siri. And I only use Alessa. I don't use but I don't use I don't use Exactly Bisbee. why I say there's more competition needed. Hey Google, no, you could do hey Google. Why did you just trigger everybody? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you could do that, but people won't be using that either. Why not? Because Alexa because the infrastructure has not been built as well as Amazon. And they're working on That's what I'm saying. They're working on that. And they're going to bring it into your life next year. I don't think it's going to work. Ooh, only time they will have tell. to. They have. OK, so they have to come up with a TV. They don't need a TV. They have the Chromecast already. Mm. You don't like the Amazon has it. If they're going after Amazon, they have to do everything that Amazon's well, doing they, and better than Amazon. Well, hold on. To be there are TVs that have Google TV operating system. There's Sony Does ones. It there's TCL. Does it matter? Uh, the Fire TV. There is there is your Alessa on other brands, and they decided to say we need our own Fire TV for reasons. Okay. So. Anybody that comes in the game has to be better than Alexa. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. Has to be, yeah, Alexa cancel. <laughs> um, <laughs> cancel culture. Cancel culture, yeah. Alexa, what is cancel culture? No, don't do that. Everyone's <laughs> devices are going to go stupid now. So anybody who comes into the game has to be better than whoever the top dog is doing. They cannot be comparable. They cannot be underwhelming. They have to be they they have to come out the gate with a lot of stuff. And if they don't come out with a lot of stuff, they have to be announcing a lot of stuff. Hey, we're going for your smart home exactly how the Alessa's doing, exactly how Amazon's doing. But guess what? Not only are we doing what they're doing, but we are also going to be doing this that's going to be better so people get excited about it. Right now, I'm not excited about the Pixel 6. The Chromecast is good. That doesn't mean I'm going to dump everything that I have for a Chromecast. You should do it now. Let me look for TVs. Pfft, what TVs? You don't have anything. Right now, know. right now with my ecosystem, this, th this is my ecosystem, and I have it within – Two companies, just two. My entire Samsung house. And Amazon. Samsung and Amazon. I got my refrigerator. I can watch TV on my fridge if I want. If I'm at the, and I know some people are saying that's a stupid feature. Whatever. It is what it is. Um, if I'm at the grocery store and I'm just like, crap, do I have eggs? I could look inside my fridge on my phone on my app. What's crazy is with my Samsung fridge, if it senses like, oh, you know what? You've actually had these eggs probably for a month. It will notify me and say, hey, these eggs might be bad. I don't know how long eggs last, but it does it for milk. It does it for certain things and that it's when it scans everything in there and it says, hey, we don't see milk in here anymore. Do you want me to add milk in there or it will automatically add it to the grocery list? Dude, I could automate the crap out of all this stuff within those two devices. You could schedule everything. It's 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 unreal. Dude, my I have the microwave. I got the stove, the oven, washer, dryer, all Samsung products. My TVs, all Samsung products. Um, except for this hot garbage that I was like, oh, let me just throw this in there because I didn't want to spend too much money, which I'm probably going to get rid of to get something else. But, oh, I'm sure. How bad? An hour? Five minutes? It's almost an hour. Come on. Okay. All right. We'll start. We'll start. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I think right now I don't feel excited about it because I do like Android TV. Okay, I'll give you a reason to get excited about it then. If they start to do developing on Google TV's operating system, 
they could be further developing Android's TV operating system, which would affect other devices like Amazon, um, the Onboxes, NVIDIA Shields, um, whatever's running the official Google software. Those features that they create could trickle down to all the other devices because they're using that operating system as well. Would you be excited then? You're like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, it's, I, I think I'll be excited if I hear them doing something new, something different. Right. They are. If they're just saying like, hey, we're just going to be upgrading a lot of stuff and everything's going to be looking a little bit better, a little bit crisper, a little bit smoother. Okay, cool. Let me see what those upgrades are. But you still need to bring back a TV. You still need to do several things that, dude, security cameras. I don't think they have security cameras. Like, I don't know. I don't know. They they, they have to do something that I'm just like, and please don't bring a drone that I could put it inside my house and it flies around and says security, <laughs> you know? Freaking Amazon did that for you guys who think I'm joking. <laughs> Google owns Nest. Nest has security cameras. See? Like I said. Well, actually, no, that's true, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they need – and see, people don't know that. They're like, oh, That's yeah, what Nest. I'm saying. The next year, there's going to be a lot of integration between all of their different brands. This is coming. I'm telling people right now. They're coming for Amazon, and when it hits, everyone's going to be like, when did this happen? But it's been happening for years. They've been buying these companies, and they just haven't integrated it all into one. Again, underwhelming. <laughs> if it's been happening for years, they've they've been falling short for years then if nobody knows. I dude, I I, I had to think about it. I'm like, oh wait a minute. Yeah, Nest is Google. Shit. <laughs> I've reviewed their stuff. That is true. But but that's the thing. It's so underwhelming. It's so underwhelming. I would rather just be like, hey, you know what? Let me get Blue Rams. Blue Rams is awesome. Even though I know Nest is more a higher of a premium. Blue Rams is doing the same shit at a cheaper price. And I could use the Google and the, the, the Alessa and Bigsby. So, um, yeah, I got the Apple TV coming, Apple TV 4K, that streaming box. I'm going to be doing those reviews. Um, I already know where the conversation is going to go with those devices. If you got all the mainstream stuff, you're good. I'm pretty sure it's going to have a couple things that you could build a media thing, which, would, oh man, that's a whole other time. I, I was talking to somebody else about the whole Plex and, and uh, your in-home media thing that I know we had, we could have the whole episode on that one, but maybe we'll do that next. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, it's already been an hour. Uh, make sure you guys leave us a comment below. Um, let us know what you guys think. What is your guys' favorite devices? What do you guys like? Is it is it should we be jumping into a new device right now when the old devices are still doing great? Like my shield is still kicking butt. Um, I got the Fire Stick Max up in here. That, that's doing great. Yeah, my 2017 shield. Um, yeah, that thing's doing amazing since I blew up the other one. Um Buzz TV is still good. Like, like I said, it just depends what you have. If it's working great, why upgrade to something else just because somebody else said so? Um, well, sometimes yeah. you want to just be knowledgeable about all the different shit out there, right? You don't know what's going to be king of the hill if you ain't digging through that big pile of shit anymore, right? Yeah, So, and that's why we review these devices to see what's good. Is it worth it? If it's not, I know all of us, dude, everybody was freaking, oh, Google Chromecast, oh, TiVo. Dude, it was like all these. It was like a spew of devices that came out all during the summer of last year. Freaking Buzz TV Vidstick and Be Cool Formula. It was like nonstop last summer. The freaking block party. But um, the lights, the fire sticks. Oh my gosh, dude. So um, yeah, I'm getting it. It's coming. Videos are coming soon. I'm sure I'll show next level. And we'll probably be dissecting it as how we usually do it. And um, yeah, that way you guys have a better understanding and, a, and you guys can make a good decision with your guys' money on on your own home entertainment. So um, appreciate you guys. Hope you guys are doing good. Summer's almost over. Next, what you got before we go? Thank you guys for watching and listening to another episode of Beyond the Streams. Wherever you guys are watching or listening to us from, make sure you leave us a comment and a review so other people 
like yourself can find the content that you enjoy. Make sure that you also check out the Beyond the Streams YouTube channel every Thursday, roughly between 1 to 4 p.m. Standard Time as we do go live. If you want to be a part of the conversation, be a part of the community, make sure those notifications are turned on as you never know where the conversation's going to go or who's going to be on. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Thank you.